Okay, I will walk you over the last assignment, which is an assignment on uh, cells order. Okay, an application called cells order and how to create that application called cells order. Okay. Okay, so what we are going to do here is we have the skills that we would be developing is creating forms and table, locating a specific BAPI and finding data from the backend Oxford system using a BAPI. Now what is a BAPI, BAPI? It's called Business Application Program Interface. What are those? Those allow developers to integrate third party software with SAP R3 system. Okay, so we would be using a cells order BAPI. Once again, BAPI is business application program interface. Okay, to look up cells order for a given customer. So we would be looking up cells order for a given customer where from we, we would be looking that up from our backend system, which is the Oxford system, okay, which has a database with cells order and customer. So what you have to do is you have to submit a Word document with two screenshots. The first screenshot is this one where you have to enter a customer number and a sales organization and you will pull up the sales order and the second one is another customer number and the same organization and you will pull up all the sales order for that particular customer. Okay, so I will walk you over this assignment where you will be basically using a sales order BAPI and you will be looking up sales order for a given customer from the portal okay by having access to the backend system so we will go to visual composer then I'll do go to model create a new model composite view is fine and we will name it uh, let's see how we can name it we can name it SLU Okay, then 001 underscore cells order. Okay, underscore cells order. And then you have to name a development component as you know. So let this be SLU001 underscore uh, cells order. Sorry, cells order. Okay, so I have a new model now. I say okay. So that's my new model. Okay, now I have to make sure that compiler is selected uh, from compiler, sorry, portal is selected, so that's fine, so I close it and then um, I have to search. What do I search for? I search in my database, remember my backend database is Oxford and I search for sales orders, okay. So I search for sales orders. I search actually I think it's order not orders okay. So search again sales order not orders. Okay from here I drag the BAPI remember we are using the BAPI sales order and I think we would be using the BAPI sales order get list. Yeah we will be using that. So I drag in the BAPI cells order get list. Hold on, still it comes up. Now you see the ports have come up. So in the input port, all of them are selected. So I can deselect them and I can just take in customer number and purchase order. Okay, this is what I need to select from the input customer number and sorry, not purchase order, but sales organization, sorry. So purchase, not purchase order, but sales organization from the input port, okay. Now from the return, I deselect all, I have to do type and message, okay. Then in the sales order, I have to show all and then I have to select four things, document, purchase number, plant and uh, creation date. Let me check one time, okay. From uh, cells return, I 
chose type and message and from sales order ID document purchase number plant and creation date so document purchase number plant and creation date so I close it then okay now from the input I drag and I get into the form view okay now I double click and I name the title as input customer of the form okay now I drag sales order I get into the table view okay this is my okay before I have done that actually I should have tested the data service let's see if I can test the data service now so I test the data service okay click on input in the customer number put in 00000047777 and in the sales organization put in 1020 and test so this should come up okay so it's working so I close and then uh, I've tested this and okay so I've got this and from the input to the form view I've already done that and I've renamed it input customer sales order output to table view and I that's named sales order so final model should look like this okay now I have to click on browse okay and make sure that I have customer number sales organization and submit and I in the sales order I have selected those four things document purchase number plant and creation date so they are as they should be now I have to go in the layout tab I go in the layout tab okay now this looks like this fine now I have to deploy so I have to include all the development component dependencies and then I deploy yes I need to save okay now click on the HTML link so it's coming up now you have to check so I do the first one 0000000 this is my customer number 7777 and sales organization is 1020 and this is in the back order in the back end database Oxford okay now I'm pulling that information from the Oxford database at the back end with my portal application so when I submit I get this so this is one screenshot that you have to submit okay then view go to the next one this is your A go to the next one we try it with a different customer number this is 0000, 000 I believe 300 then 453 I may not be remembering it correctly but I'll go back and check if the submit does not work submit did not work so what was that uh, the second uh, number was 403436 okay so 403436 and then I submit and this is what it comes up from the backend database same thing I print screen I submit it here and this is my assignment 8 ok so what we have done in this lab is remember we have basically used a sales order BAPI business application program interface to look up sales order for a given customer from the backend Oxford database okay so this is your last assignment visual composer assignment 6 
I really hope that you have enjoyed this class and you have learned uh, the SAP module, Enterprise Portal, NetWeaver and Visual Composer. Okay? Uh, have a great rest of the semester.